Hi guys, welcome to Aptos video part 2. In the first part we talked about which wallets to use, how to bridge into Aptos and some basic DeFi and airdrop hunting. For this one we're going to be focusing on the other little less known projects as well as another big one that doesn't have a token yet, Thala and Aptin, as well as the orderly on Aptos, so-called Econia Labs, all of their projects, as well as the VE 3.3 DEX, Solana, which has recently had their airdrop and their DeFi and yields are incredible. Also, near the end, we're going to be talking about a couple interesting plays such as the Jumbo Phone and other strategies that you can use to qualify for Aptos Airdrop number two. Let's jump in. All right, first thing we're going to do on Aptos now is go to Aptos names and register our domain name. As it always goes with these domain services, the shorter domains cost more and at three digits you, you're going to pay 20 aptos, but starting from six digits, six characters, you're going to pay only one aptos per domain. So we're going to do that and you go register for, for one year and after the confirmation goes through, we have our domain name. As you can see, the transactions on aptos are super cheap. Next, we have Thala. They're actually the highest TVL project on Aptos and offering a wide variety of services. However, they already have a token, but upon closer inspection, we can see that 35% of the total Thala token supply is reserved for community. So it might be worthwhile to still explore the ecosystem a bit. First thing they have is something called Vaults. Here you can deposit your collateral and mint their own native stablecoin called Move Dollar. And you can only deposit a minimum of 500 worth of deposit and borrow against it. So if you have a smaller amount to work with, you can also go in the Peg tab. And here you can simply swap some of the USDC into their own native mod stablecoin. And how we can use it, first thing is here in this Thala Stability Pool, TSP. And here, basically, people who get liquidated on their positions in vaults, they, the liquidators get their deposit transported into this stability pool. You deposit mod and you get a part of what gets liquidated. However, on market downturns, obviously, this is going to be a lot, lot higher APR, but it's very volatile. So keep that in mind. It was over 70% just a couple of hours ago. Now they have the classic swap features with a very, very nice and wide coverage of tokens. And this pool, I'm not awfully impressed with the pool section because while it does offer very nice APRs on stable pairs, they're offering 20%. But for example, Aptos and Thala Staked Aptos is offering 20%, but in their own platform tokens, Thala Aptos and Astro Thala. Also, the mod is USDC is offering 50%, but same deal. So, and another thing that if you want these emissions, you actually have to buy Thala token and lock it for a period of up to one year to get maximum emissions. So, I don't understand if you're not a V3.3 DEX, why would you implement something that is really not used anywhere else? But if someone else knows this, please let me know in the comments below. They also have a launch pad. Here they launched their Thala token, which has actually performed pretty well, almost 4x since launch. But other than that, there are no recent, <clears throat> there are no new upcoming projects as of today. And not to forget, they also have a liquid staking tab where you can mint and stake your Aptos into Thala Aptos and staked Thala Aptos. And the APRs are 12%. And if you decide to pair it in a liquidity pool over here to for 20%, you can do so. Again, you will need the vote escrow Thala in order to get these emissions. Next up, we have Aptin Finance. They're basically your Arius Markets, but smaller because Arius Markets has over 160 million in total value locked, whereas Aptin Finance has only 20 million. So they do offer a little less of the APRs. In the Markets tab, you can see that the APRs are only 6%. On stable pairs, however, on stable coins, but with the smaller amount of people farming it the points program is already here and the governance is coming soon which means token is probably coming soon they actually already have a section for apn token here where we will be able to stake it once it actually goes live next up we have the marketplace topaz nfts and they're actually pretty nice they're the biggest 
the marketplace on Iftos, but they oftentimes have these free mints. So if you participate in these, you can generate some nice income. Of course, these free mints don't go for much, but sometimes they can surprise you. Lucky lads are currently worth only a couple of dollars, but sometimes these free mints can be worth <laughs> hundreds of dollars like we had seen before. All right, next we have Tortuga Finance. They're actually one of the OGs in the space offering liquid staking, but with only 7% APR, they're not very competitive. However, what interests me the most is this governance tab in their documentation where it says coming soon and Tortuga Finance Protocol will be governed in a decentralized fashion. We all know what that means. There's literally a tokenomics tab just underneath. Next, we have the whole Iconia ecosystem, which is considered to be like orderly on Aptos, and they're offering many different dApps, such as Aries Markets we talked about before. They have Gator Trade, Candle Labs, and Swap GPT. Swap GPT and Gator Trade are very straightforward. They only have a swap and trade functionalities. However, Candle Labs, actually, Swap GPT is Panora. This is the one we talked before. This is becoming my favorite swap on the Aptos blockchain because it has it really aggregates price for prices from many different sources and it is very very smooth. However, Candle Labs is the only one I will focus a little bit more because they have a cross-chain DEX swapper, which means you can send funds from Aptos to Solana and other Ethereum and Ethereum layer twos as well as Avalanche. And unfortunately ZK Sync is the only one that lets you send funds from ZK Sync to ZK Sync at the moment. Hopefully this changes soon. They also have a classic trade section where you have your limit and market orders and stake and yield tab is coming soon, which implies that they might have a token as well coming very soon. And if you want to trade perpetuals on Aptos, you have Merkle Trade. They have 46% of their total token allocation reserved for community incentives. And their UI is actually crazy. They allow you to <laughs> leverage trade up to 150x, which is obviously not recommended unless you're a pro and with a very wide range of offered tokens and even some fiat currencies, they're an interesting option. Powered by Pyth data, so perhaps we can look at some potential Pyth airdrops in the future as well using this one. Of course, super speculative. They also have their GLP version on Aptos called MKLP, Merkle LP, where you bet against traders, profits and losses with a pretty solid APR of 75% currently. Of course, fluctuating all the time, you would need to deposit USDC to start generating platform fees and counter, tra counter positions on traders' positions. All right, now we get to the fun part, Solana Finance, the first V3.3 DEX on Aptos. To understand how this whole thing works, let's take a look at how classic liquidity pool usually works. If a project wants deep liquidity and every project wants that so that their users can get in and out of their positions with lowest slippage and fastest execution. So usually the projects would launch a liquidity pool on their website and they would incentivize users to deposit by giving their, plat their native platform token. Example is sushi farms from the past and their food farms were horrible because the native emissions of sushi token were super inflationary and of course as more and more were being emissioned on the market, the price went down, APRs went to zero and the whole thing collapsed. V3.3 DEX innovates in a way that the native emissions of the Solana, in this case token, are being directed where voters decide that this is going to go. So how this whole thing works is you have Solana token, which is being locked into vote escrow Solana for users. Projects then offer bribes, so incentives for voters to vote on the pool that is going to receive the weekly Solana native token emissions, which means that the APRs for the pools that the projects want liquidity for is going to be boosted depending on the bribes that people get as voters. Okay, that is a lot of complex information, but in short, it is a way for projects to build deep liquidity for a fraction of the price. Users who lock up their tokens get a huge APR because of the bribes that projects are directing people's votes to get Solana emissions. And of course, the depositors on a V3.3 DEX are super happy because of the huge amounts of Solana tokens that are being directed into their pools. So it's a win-win model. Of course, this whole thing works as long as the Solana price goes up, as long as more tokens are being locked up, as long as more tokens are being used to direct the votes and voting power. Just keep in mind that these V3.3 DEXs perform incredibly well in bull markets and in bear markets, they crash even faster and more deadly. So examples of other 
very very successful ones on other chains uh, the first solidly fork on optimism was a velodrome finance it has done incredibly well in the last couple of weeks and you have the velodrome fork on base which is aerodrome finance which has also exploded doing almost 30x using their own v3.3 mechanism so how this would work with the first one on aptos solana first you need to buy some uh, sell tokens so you can lock it up so we will swap just a test amount of aptos here uh, you have the preferred version is petra petra wallet is the one that they recommend but we'll stick with martian wallet for now we would simply get some of these sell tokens once your transactions go through you lock your sell tokens into the uh, nft so this nft is actually tradable so we will lock the our newly acquired sell tokens into the sell so let's do that here with the maximum amount and let's choose of course the maximum duration to get the most amount of voting power if you choose a smaller amount for example six months you're getting the disproportional amount of the sell tokens so vote escrow solana tokens once you create your lock you create you get your nft and then use this nft to vote for the pools that you want your to, you, you that you want the solana token emissions to go towards they are weekly emissions and then they and they reduce by two percent every week to make it a little bit deflationary so now that our NFT is ready, it is locked for two years and we can choose the emissions that we want to participate in. So for example, let's of course go for the 500% APR one. One thing you must not ignore is this voting rewards part. You must know where the voting rewards are coming from. In our case, we have over 3000 Aminus Aptos that are incentivizing this staked Aminus Aptos and USDC pool. But if this was like a random meme coin, then you might want to stay away. So we're going to select our NFT, that is our representation of Vote Escrow Selena, and we're going to go for the highest APR. Here it's 500%, but of course you can also manage this differently. You don't have to send all of your voting power into the into just one pool. Of course, we're going to cast our votes, and after the transaction would be confirmed, we have our potential rewards that are already displayed here. Now, another thing you can do with these vote escrow NFTs is you can manage them in a way to split or merge them. If you choose to split them, you can actually sell them on Topaz Marketplace. However, if you're going to be merging them, make sure to claim any rewards when splitting and merging. But if you're going to be merging them, you're going to get the highest lock on the, the NFT with the highest lock. So keep that in mind. All right, and last couple updates for Aptos. You have a crypto phone option here available called Jumbo. It is basically for the emerging markets, and it's a kind of a budget version of a Solana saga. There are no airdrops planned, or it's purely speculative, but if you just want a crypto phone that has ties to Aptos, you can get this one for $100. They also have some backers, including Backpack, which is like the best project over there on Solana and TikTok, of course, everybody knows TikTok. So if you want to go into the rabbit hole of speculations, if TikTok someday, someday adapts this phone, it could be huge and it could actually increase in value as an asset. Uh, other than that, we also have Aptos Forum. It is recommended to make an account here and make minimum engagement forms um, on the platform because it could be some kind of multiplier in the future. And lastly, you have Aptos Quest running until April 4 15th. And this is the Quest 4 for the Aptos ecosystem fundamentals. And that's a wrap on the more technical aspects of Aptos ecosystem. If you find content valuable, like and subscribe with bell notifications on, considering a lot of our content is very time sensitive, including this Hava claim. Of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything, our Discord is one of the places that you can utilize to make sure you don't miss on any important updates in real time. And of course, our community is very helpful and will help you get started if you're new. But if you're a DeFi DGen seasoned veteran, then you will fit right in. Till next time, have an amazing day.